congratulations, you just found the G-Spot with me, Mel G. Here on my G-Spotcast, I talk about things that piss me off, things that don't piss me off, and anything else that might tickle my fancy. And as most of you already know, I don't like to talk about politics on social networking sites, but some of the stuff that's been going on here lately has got my panties in a bunch. And I'm talking, it's laundry day, and I'm wearing granny panties. And this shit is uncomfortable as hell. So I've got to go ahead and address this. But um, bear with me here, because I'm, I'm trying to do some video. I'm doing my audio, and uh, I wrote a few notes just to make sure that... Uh, I don't miss what I want to say here. Um, But social networking sites have turned into a freaking war zone. My news feed has turned into nonstop political diarrhea. And it's just like the election season last year. I have had to hide some of my friends from my news feed just to um, save our friendships because some of the dumbass shit that I see posted um, is just ridiculous. And we'll get to some of that here in a second. But um, I've never seen so many families and and friends ripped apart, um, you know, since the election season. And now this, I mean, honestly, I I neither, I neither see myself left or right. I mean, sometimes I lean to the left, sometimes I lean to the right. But I I mean, I've seen, I see way too much ignorance coming from both sides to associate with myself with either. So, personally, I am 100% against ignorance, though, and I will call out anyone that I see spreading lies and propaganda, but some of you should seriously be downright ashamed of yourselves. Uh, Some of the stuff that I see posted, my my favorite is the ones where somebody will just go off on a rant about, uh, you know, something about anti-Trump or uh, anti-Hillary or anti this, anti that. And they're like, uh, just go ahead and delete me. Just go ahead and delete me now. We can't be friends. Blah, 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 blah. (laughs) And that's why I've had to hide some of you from my news feed is because if I literally took what you said to heart, um, we wouldn't be friends anymore. And I know that down the road, either you or I or both of us would regret, regret that. Regret that? Regret that. It's been a long day. I just got off work. Matter of fact, I'm wearing my uniform and I see that some of you are probably trying to peek and see where I work. Guess what? <laughs> it's covered. Anyway, um, another thing that I can't stand to see on social networking sites is uh, um, these stupid ass news. Wait, I'm, only, I'm using quotations for those of you listening on the podcast. News stories uh, from these websites that are no more reliable uh, than the National Enquirer. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and make an official announcement that I am offended by stupid people. I want to just take you all out. I want to take you out back and just shoot you. It's ridiculous. I mean, so some of you people, I, you shouldn't even be allowed to share the same air that the rest of us breathe. Um, but it's not just stupid people that I'm offended by. I am also offended as a, uh, uh, a resident here in Columbus, Ohio. Most of you will agree with me. I'm offended by these freaking orange construction barrels all over the freaking roads. It's ridiculous. They make me late to work. They make me mad. They make me sweat. All the pain and suffering. Oh, I hate these freaking barrels. But let's get back to what I'm talking about here. Um, On social networking sites, everyone has turned into a bunch of bullies. And like I said, it's both sides. Uh... Everyone wants to argue, but nobody wants to admit to be to being wrong. Now, heaven forbid, um, you should walk around uh, with a bruised ego. I mean, that's pretty much why the politically correct community was created uh, to pre- protect people uh, from these words that are going to hurt you. Um, these same hurtful words, though, that I see them use against each other. And they spew these words back and forth and back and forth. And oh my God, if you try to click on one of these uh, news stories, like from CNN or Fox or even your local ABC, CBS or or, or whatever, um, the comments on there, uh, and just here in Columbus, Ohio, uh, they are rather entertaining because 
<laughs> we seem to have more than our fair share uh, of racists in the area. And I've said this once and I'll say it again. Some of you motherfuckers make me ashamed to be white. Mm. Anyway, I, I personally, I feel like common courtesy is a thing of the past. Common courtesy has now been replaced by tolerance. And I'm having problems understanding this tolerance. And I know that I'm not the only one. Uh, these people who preach about tolerance, these are the same people who get angry and bent out of shape if you don't see things exactly the way they do. A perfect example is religion. I myself, I'm a Christian. And if I had a nickel for every derogatory comment that I've seen these tolerant liberals uh, making fun of God-fearing Christians, I would seriously own my own planet and live alone, away from all of you assholes. One Christian will make a comment and recite a verse from the Bible, and 40 freaking buttheads will make fun of her for doing so. And as a Christian, seeing these things, is, it, it honestly breaks my heart. I mean, we're supposed to tolerate whatever, you know, you may identify yourself as a tree. I'm going to identify myself as a cartoon. But whatever you decide that you want to do, you want the Christians to tolerate and accept you. And many, many, many of us do. I want to go ahead and make that point clear. Many of us do. But in the meantime, you have no toleration for us or the fact that we have faith in God or that we believe and oh my goodness, I'm talking about religion, which is a second no-no that we never talk about. Let's move on. Here's an idea. Um, maybe we should all just try to be courteous to one another. Uh, s just step back and look at the bigger picture. D treat someone the same way that you would want them to treat you. I mean, that's, kinda, that's from the Bible too. Step away from the Facebook. If you are all bent out of shape and you find yourself arguing and getting upset and thinking about this crap all day long, step away from the Facebook. Uh, step away from the Twitter. Step away from the Instagram. Live your life the best that you can and don't worry about making others think the same way that you do. And <laughs> our country would suck if everyone felt the same way about everything. And just go to work, raise your families, teach your children some values. You, just do you. Worry about you and yours and be the best that you can be. Don't be a follower, be a leader and earn the respect that you deserve. Now, if everyone woke up tomorrow and just started being nice to each other, we would see that change that we so desperately need. But for those of you that just feel the need to bitch about everything, and now we're, we are fighting and protesting over statues. Here in Columbus, Ohio today, they protested the Christopher Columbus statue. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, I pray they don't take Thanksgiving from me next. Uh, <laughs> what's that song that I like so much? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> but listen, you guys do realize that we live in the best country in the world. Uh, the best country in the world. And what is with all this self-entitlement? Uh, do you realize that some of you are turning our streets into a third world country? Uh, the protesting the riots, the, the, the vandalizing, uh, the blatant disrespect for our president of the United States. Now, I'm not saying I'm pro-Trump. I'm not saying that I'm anti-Trump. Uh, he is my president, though, and I got to respect him. That's the way it has always been. That's the way we were taught as children. But think of these kids today that are going to these protests or watching TV or watching the live streams on YouTube or Facebook. Um, that's a thing of the past, too. Uh, these children are going to grow up and not respect um, our president or, or our government, and they're already starting to not respect our police. But this is the stuff that, I mean, I'm 45 years old. This is the stuff that I've only seen on TV. I mean, this is like news coverage of third world countries at war. Seriously, guys, what the fuck are you doing?
You live in the greatest country in the world, but yet you still find stuff to bitch about. Now you're bitching about the decor, the decorations. Um, you know, and, and like I said, if, if, if you do away with Christopher Columbus, are they really going to do away with, with Thanksgiving next? Uh, what about, you know, the 4th of July, Independence Day? What, what is next? I, I, myself, I am part German. I am part Jewish, and on both parts of my family, I'm Native American. And uh, as like an eighth Native American, I could give a rat's ass about the Christopher Columbus. You know, that's kind of how this town got its name, and, and, and it's kind of cool. I don't care. Um, but, you know, stop protesting on behalf of people that you think are offended. Think for yourself. Quit trying to think for everybody else. Anyway, I'm going to go go ahead and wrap this up because uh, <laughs> this stuff gets me so wound up and it's already uh, getting close to 4 a.m. and uh, I need to go to bed because I got to work tomorrow. But, you know, until we talk next time on my G-Spot cast, um, thanks for finding the G-Spot and don't take life so seriously. No one gets out alive anyway. See ya.